welcome to the launch of the Digital Living Lab in Wollongong. And usually this is when someone at the back of the room stops me and says, what the hell are you talking about? So let me explain a little bit, because that's a fair question. There's two dimensions here. The first one is a digital lab that's all about technology. And what we're going to do in the next couple of weeks, and in collaboration with our uh, colleagues and partners from MESHT and from Wollongong Council and uh, from Sydney Water, is to deploy a radio communication network based on LoRa technology, which is the most cost-effective technology so far we have, and backs what's called the IoT revolution around the world. What it is about? Well, it's about plugging small things like this one that can measure, if I'm correct, Andrew, temperature, humidity, even uh, uh, light and, and, uh, and motion, and plugging it for free, free to air into the network, and then you develop applications to get information from this small device, which is much, much cheaper than anything we've been building for many years. What kind of applications? Well, you name them. Uh, in Wollongong, it's going to be about flooding, and I know that the general manager of Wollongong City Council will be very keen to have solutions where we can have real-time remote monitoring of all the wastewater system in, in Wollongong. Edge care, aging independently at home. If we have non-intrusive, small, cheap sensors that can tell carers and families whether uh, our elderly and, and, and loved ones can eat properly, can wash properly. You don't need CCTV cameras to do that. The second part is probably most important to us, and that's what makes the Digital Living Lab, Living Lab, a very special initiative in Australia, unlike any other so far. We're thinking about the users first. We're thought, thinking about solving problems first. If the people who have to benefit from the technology understand the technology, this is a revolution. So if you ask me about my KPI for this project, let's say that in two years' time, I want anyone coming from Sydney, Melbourne, the rest of the world coming to Wollongong saying, we've heard about this digital living lab, what it is about. And anybody in town, in the streets, would be asked what it is about, would be able to say, oh yeah, I can tell you what it is about. This is what it does for me. That's going to be the success for the lab. Then there's the community itself. And that's why you're all here today. It's all about bringing the startups we've got at the I Accelerate uh, on Innovation Campus, but also bigger companies that are already investing uh, massively in the Internet of Things. And of course, other of our regional or more international potential partners who might want to invest and collaborate with us. So this is what I hope will be our community to continue to develop projects, not for this year or next year, for the next 10 years and 20 years, because we want the Illawarra region, Wollongong City, to become the Silicon Valley of IoT in Australia. Nothing more, nothing less. So today we've launched a citywide network for Wollongong. It will see multiple uh, internet gateways being uh, deployed right across the region. And essentially what that will do is enable anybody in the city of Wollongong to connect their Internet of Things device to the network so they can get the data at no cost. I think the key message here is that this is no longer up to the big telcos and governments. This is about people getting involved and being able to do the things that they want to do. So we're hoping with this public access network that this will spawn a whole um, area of innovation, uh, next IT services um, for young entrepreneurs um, and also to build and support the local businesses in the community. Uh, ignoring our specific business needs, our, you know, we'd we'll be keen to participate in something like this because it creates an opportunity for creating a little more livable city in a range of ways and also in, obviously as a spur to business for a whole range of, of innovative opportunities that people haven't even thought about. We've got an, a history of innovation that comes from you know industrial activity and in some ways a mining history as well. But you know, over the last 20 years or so, you know, we've had to reinvent ourselves, and we reinvent ourselves, um, you know, looking at, you know, the, the digital economy. And uh, I'm really, really pleased that that we've been able to contribute and and be a player in this space. And hopefully, in the end, you know, many, many other organisations, institutions, and individuals um, play their part in taking this forward.